guys welcome welcome to my first video of this new series and new content entitled mama tried these videos are going to be all about helping out trying to give you some of the best advice that i can based on my life experience my decisions my choices based on being a mom in my mid 30s and definitely just trying to help people and give people different insight to different things but that being said this first series is going to be extremely near and dear to my heart the intent of these videos is to be compacted so this series may last a while because this journey was three years in the making now these videos are not going to hopefully take three years but definitely definitely want to share with you guys this amazing journey that honestly i wouldn't trade for the world because it's made me a better person made me who i am today you know, these first videos are going to be about our infertility journey this first video is entitled first try i cried um because i want to start off with saying we decided um we were married seven years ago and seven years ago not even a couple of months after we had been married my husband approached me and said okay what's your thought on children so we were married we were both 29 when we got married so we were already close to that 30 mark and inching ever closer to more difficulties in um getting pregnant based on just the age and, and the older you get so i was fine with that um we didn't know how successful we would be so i was fine with starting and trying and seeing what happened there was just this expectation of everything to go perfectly. Everything was supposed to go exactly how it should, and then with a few months, I would be pregnant. There was this expectation that it was just gonna be snap your fingers, blink your eyes twice, click your heels, and you'll be pregnant. And that was gonna be that happily ever after moment. So I was living in this happily ever after moment constantly. And uh, to get a little personal, um, if you don't like this kind of stuff, skip through 15 seconds or so. I am just not regular as far as everything that works for us women on a monthly basis. I don't have that consistency. There is nothing wrong. I don't have any type of issues. Um, I have been tested for a couple of things and they've just said, this is just how you are. Which, fine, whatever. I'm used to it. Um, so when the first month that we literally the first month, I'm not talking the first six months, I'm talking the first month we tried, um, I got a pregnancy test because just swore up and down that it was a possibility that I was pregnant right now and took the test. We got up, went into the bathroom where, uh, uh we had placed the test and it was negative. I'm not kidding you when I tell you that I came into our living room, laid on the sofa and cried all day and all night. I was so depressed over one negative test. It was ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. And I'm saying that because it, there are many women who have had multiple negative pregnancy tests and my husband had to remind me of that later. There are women who get multiple negative pregnancy tests and here I was upset over one. It was the most ridiculous thing ever. So I allow myself to dwell on that fact that I had one negative test, just one, that was it. I encourage you if you are dealing with anything in life, but especially if you're dealing with infertility, whatever you do, do not dwell on your negative tests or your negative results. I speak completely from my heart that if you're dwelling and sitting and thinking on all of that negative stuff, that will be all you will think about. So I want to encourage you to, although it seems like life has fallen down on top of your head, whatever situation you're dealing with, don't sit and dwell on the negative. Look around you for a second and be thankful for what is there. I did not do that. This entire journey, I never stopped to be thankful for what I had in that moment. I should have been grateful that 
day where I took that one test and got a negative that I had a supportive husband, that I had a roof over my head, a job to go to. A co I know that's all like candid answers and yeah, okay, dodge in. <laughs> but that's the truth. I could have stopped and focused on, look, I don't, didn't know if anything was wrong. I should be grateful that for this, this time, there may not have been anything wrong. It just didn't happen. I could have been grateful, again, to have support. Um, instead, I sat on the couch and had a pity party for myself not even considering my husband in that moment either. So I leave you with that to understand that sometimes if you feel like you're at the extreme in your emotions, that's okay, I was, but to not focus on that negative. Think about what you have that didn't have to be there. I know that's hard when you're going through stuff. I know that's difficult. I totally sim am sympathetic and get it, but don't focus. Here's what I, I'm asking you. I want you to take a moment, find a blank piece of paper, list out all your negative thoughts, everything, even if it's in that moment, whenever you're watching this video, sit down, write down all the negative on one side of that paper, every negative thought you're having. And then on the other side, write all of the positive things that you have, all the things to be thankful and grateful for right now. And that's that's key in this month. If you're watching this in November, it's key in this month to think about all of those positives. Let's focus on that instead of all that negative. Just to clear some things up, I am also not a licensed therapist. I can only tell you what worked for me and what helped me along this journey. Uh, but if you are having really serious negative thoughts, please get some help and see somebody. I can't stress that enough. This is just a quick video. This just getting started on this journey. So I hope you guys do your homework. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have that notification bell clicked. That way you know the next time the series is coming out. Love you.